It feels like something out of a dream in terms of the impact I've been able to make. Amy Tai always knew she wanted to help cancer patients. Her AI model is exceeding expectations just a year into its development. The AI looks at a new type of MRI scan in breast cancer patients. Which is really tailored at capturing details and properties of cancer in a way that previous MRI systems cannot capture. The model then works to determine if chemotherapy would be helpful prior to surgery. One example after another, the AI learns and builds its knowledge. It's able to really understand and then be able to predict whether a particular patient based on this MRI data is likely to benefit from a certain type of chemotherapy. The tool was able to identify and predict which patients would benefit from chemotherapy with over 87% accuracy when it reviewed a group of more than 250 patients in the United States. A big help for doctors who have traditionally read those scans. AI is always there as a complementary tool or assistant to a doctor to help them make better decisions so they're able to treat more patients as well as give them a better quality level of care and patients navigating treatment options. So patients, especially cancer patients, have very limited time and they want to make sure that they have the best possible treatment because there's that opportunity cost if you choose one type of treatment, that you lose the time and the resources to do another type of treatment. Ty hopes this is only the beginning. So next steps would be like expanding both in terms of breadth and depth, so going to other cancer domains potentially, and then going focusing more on the breast cancer in terms of how we can leverage it for other types of treatments, um, other types of predictive cases. Catherine Ward, Global News, Toronto.